All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Mr. 410 here. After bringing down this truck from where I stay at a school, I got some pretty awesome parts for this truck right here. If you've seen some of my earlier videos, you kind of know what these are, and it's been a long time coming. These are dirt bound off road Comanche fender armor and uh, flat flares. So these two here are the front, those two back there are the bedsides. And then I have the um, lower quarter, lower corner pieces for the bed. So these get mounted up to the front. Those are the bed sides. I'm gonna tear these all apart to give you guys a better look at them. And then I'm gonna get started on mounting them. I have a Clico set that's gonna make mounting these a breeze. I have all the hardware. It's gonna be awesome. I did get these uh, used. They're pretty much brand new, only used. They were only mounted on a Comanche for about like a month or so. I got them off a another member on the Comanche Club uh, form website. Uh, I drove up to Georgia to go get them. I met them there. They're already powder coated and stuff. All you got to do is get mounted up. So let's get that done and let me show you guys the process. To get a better look at the Fender Armor. Once again, they are made by Dirtbound. These are the older styles. The bedsides, they don't make them with the tube and then the flat fender on top anymore. Uh, these were kind of like one of, the, one of their last sets made like this. I know now it's like that sheet of metal that comes here, bends here, and then bends down again. So it's like a, it's a complex uh, flat fender that they have. The ones they have now, the ones that I have are... The tube that runs the top on the, along the outside and then the flat piece of metal that's welded to the top. I'm going to get these installed. I'm going to grab the Clico set and the hardware, the proper drill bits. And this is probably going to be the one thing that I am most terrified about doing to my Comanche is drilling holes in the body. The first one we're trying mounting up is this uh, passenger side front fender, which is this third piece right here, or the second one from the bottom. I'm gonna try and get this one mounted up right now. Got the hardware and the Clico set ready.
So this is the passenger side fender armor slash flare all just kind of loosely mounted. I haven't put the nuts on it. I just kind of drilled the holes, put the bolts through just uh, it'll just hang there in place so I get some teaser shots. Um, that whole measure once, that whole measure twice cut once thing that applies here. I messed up uh, these two uh, bottom bolt holes. They I had to enlarge them a little bit because they were kind of off center. Other than that, it looks awesome. I just got to put the washers and the nuts on the back. And the other thing is, I got to draw this line to cut that excess material off. So you can really get the, that wheel opening. All right, so I got the passenger side bedside on. I got the passenger side front flare on. So right now, the fitment's pretty good. I like the fitment. I mean, the fitment really is all down to you and how well you drew your holes. For just kind of eyeballing it, not really measuring it, just holding up the flare, marking the holes and drilling them, it came out pretty good. And I like the fitment. This one is just kind of, the bolts are just in. Some of them have the nuts behind them, some of them don't. Because I still have to take it off and cut all that body portion out. The oh, where all the whole flare went, I got to cut all that out. On the rear, 
and on the front currently working on the driver's side marking up the holes drilling them out getting uh, this side mounted and marking where I have to cut for where I have to cut out with the angle grinder and same thing for this side as well after we finish that one we're gonna get the driver side bedside mounted up and that's gonna be it for today all mounted up it's all done I even got the angle grinder cut out all the excess uh, body panel they look great wheel wells are awesome now for the 36's <clears throat> The rear, this one, I kind of cut past the pinch weld. You learn from your mistakes, you do it once. The other side, I cut slits in it, hammered it up, and folded it. Just kind of like a, an XJ rear fender weld. You just cut and fold the, the material. But everything's all mounted up, it looks great. Cut. Uh, slits into everything and then hammered everything up and folded back That's what I should have done on the other side, but I did the driver side first So I did end up cutting past the pinch pinch weld and then after looking online I realized I should have done it like this. So you live and you learn. I'm probably gonna re-weld that inner fender weld back to the outer skin and probably try to fix it as best as I can but for now it looks good from far you can't really tell it's a 10 foot paint job either way so here's the front one these are just uh, allen head bolts with nuts with washers and lock nuts on the back so there it is in all its glory next up uh, front bumper re-gear lockers and make it a more reliable car truck daily driver weekend wheeler whatever you want to call it thanks for tuning in i have some more updates for you soon